Now let's take a look at this figure 23-21. Uh, and we're dealing with calculating the grounded neutral conductor in accordance with 220.61. But before we get into the calculation, let's take a look at the service uh, conductors defined in Article 100, but all the requirements for the service conductors in uh, Article 230. Now dropping down to the feeder, we have Article 100 that defines a feeder. Uh, but we go to Article 215 for the requirements if the feeder's inside the building. If the feeder's outside the building in any way, then it's Article 225. Now this we have to remember as designers and, doing cal and performing calculations. The branch circuit now is Article 100 defined, but the requirements are in Article 210C. So uh, keep that in mind. And since this is a sub-panel, and we call it a sub-panel because it's a sub to the service, see? And it's a 408.20, 408.36 that you have to review. But to isolate the neutral and uh, bond in the grounded bar to the panel, go to 408.40. Now, to determine if you have a current carrying uh, conductor as a neutral, then go to 310.15E as an ed. And where it becomes a really important thing to look at is when you have a four-wire, three-phase system, 482.77, uh, 120.208. Uh, and, and, and for example, if you had 100 amps on L1, L2, and L3, if 51 amps of that uh, neutral current was harmonics or nonlinear, the neutral's current carrying. But if you had 49 amps uh, and, and you didn't have any uh, harmonics or linear loads, then the neutral's not current carrying. So it's uh, the 50% rule that you find there. Now, keep that in mind. Now, uh, you know, that, that's the main thing. But when then you go to 220.61, uh, then you, you separate the loads. Do you have uh, uh, loads that are inductive loads? Uh, you know, that's dealing with harmonics, nonlinear loads, incandescent loads. And if you have any of those loads, you divide them into the uh, amount of amps or VA that you would have. For example, uh, in the step one, we have electrical discharge lighting, 300 amps. Incandescent, 50 amps. Other resistive loads, 295. So when we total those loads up, it'd be 645. Now you want to know, what well, could I have a demand applied to any of this? Only if it's resistive loading. So we'd go to two, step two, 220.61 and we would separate the resistive and the inductive loading. So the first 200 amps of the resistive load is 200. The next 145 is 70%, 101.5 amps. And when you add those two resistive loads together, it's 301.5 uh, amps. Now, when you look at the uh, discharge lighting, we have to take it at 100%, 300. So adding those two together, your neutral load is 601.5 instead of 645. So in the solution, the grounded neutral conductor load after demand factors have been applied is 601.5 after you separate now any resistive loading from inductive loading. And that's what 220.61 is asking the designer to do. And that's what this illustration is illustrating to the user of the NEC.